scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Very, very important. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. To let us know that there is an operation of wickedness that is present in the earth. And because we live here today and now. And we plan to live here for a very long time. It's important to understand the realities that are here. And how to exempt ourselves. Ephesians 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against what? against against the rulers of the darkness of this world finally against spiritual wickedness spiritual wickedness in high places some versions say in heavenly places the heavenlies i told you that there are many planes of heavens is that true remember our teaching the reality of what heaven and hell get the teaching I told us that there are many dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Many, when you say the heavenlies, you're not necessarily talking about the heaven of heavens, where God dwells, or the third heaven. There are many planes in the spirit, and the Bible generally calls it heavens. Are you getting my point? And I told us that this is where some people have gone to and come back and say they went to heaven. They went to astral realms, they went to different kinds of realms. Hallelujah. The Bible says that there are entities that are called spiritual wickedness. It's even a name. Spiritual wickedness. And they dwell in the heavenlies. They operate from that plane. Hallelujah. So the whole world lieth in wickedness. How come we are not taught that this world we live in from the moment you are born. You are born into a system that is fabricated and doggedly into wickedness. And until you exit this realm, you are going to live with the reality of this predicament. So, knowing how to exempt yourself and your loved ones and exempt all that are around you is the reason why we are taking this topic. Are you getting my point? You are not going to stop the world from being wicked. Are you getting my point? Because the Bible calls Satan the God of this world. The God of this system. The one who fashioned a system that does not honor the values of the kingdom. Someday, every knee will bow experientially. Is that true? And every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. But as at now, we do not yet see all things. Remember our teaching last week? We do not yet see all things. That's the reason why there are a brother who was saying arm robbers came and wanted to injure him. Think about it. Why will somebody sit down in the night? While you woke up in the morning, he was thinking, I'm going to wound somebody this night. How can a man think this is his goal for the day? I must wound somebody this night. It's called the mystery of wickedness. How many of you say, oh, why are they treating us bad? Who did I offend in my village that they want to stop me from marrying? Welcome to the reality of this world. 
you you don't dr paul and Encher says this this the earth realm is not a playing ground he said it's a battlefield whether you believe it or not as you grow the realities that will confront you will make you to reconsider whether it is a joke or it is true that wickedness is real many preachers listen to me many preachers in a bid to magnify god and demagnify satan have while that is a good intention they have lied to people are you getting me lied to people that uh, there is the concept of wickedness it does not exist please get this once and for all wickedness is real are you getting me somebody just gets up and looks at you and says, benga i don't like you why i i choose to hate you and my life's goal is to prove to you that i hate you you buy a nice car and take it home somebody just begins to frown ah uh ah -uh. car how old is this boy 25 25 i was 40 when i bought a bicycle and because of that listen 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 many of us grew up in the cities we grew up around we watched all kinds of 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 deceitful films that have covered us from the reality of the fact that wickedness is real a number of us here are not working but for those who are working you know that when you get a job for one single space of promotion there may be a number of people and everybody's eyeing every other person is that true the day your director calls you they call you and say so what did he say the next day you come back and your director say don't be stupid me i spoke to you something happened somewhere that you are not aware of but you are paying a bitter price those who understand that wickedness is real and have equipped themselves with the revelation and the spiritual arsenals will keep soaring as if satan does not exist and they will leave others crying and languishing there are many of our loved ones who don't go home some of you have not even gone home since you were born because they told you one scary story they say nobody goes there and comes back the same hallelujah the weapons of our warfare occultism is real witchcraft is real yokes are real bondages are real even jesus said he was sent to deliver those who have been locked up in prison they didn't see the prison physically but they are in prison moving but in prison hallelujah this is what is affecting a lot of families a lot of families and i prophesy to you that in the name that is above all names as we are teaching just as the teaching is going on many of you will suddenly find out that liberty you are just liberated from this nonsense that the devil wants to tie you with the strength of evil is ignorance the strength of evil is ignorance that's the highest weapon satan uses against the people of god ignorance the bible says in psalm 82 he said they know not neither do they understand they know not and then a few of us have gone a step further to know the name of jesus oh jesus 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 and it's not producing any result at all so we're going to be examining these things praise the lord so wickedness is real what is the goal of wickedness why wickedness what is the goal of the evil that we see in our society what does satan want to achieve with arm robbers and terrorists and wicked people in the villages and around witches and wizards necromancers people who try to project wickedness to people's lives what is the goal we must know where satan is going why is he doing this hallelujah what is the whole idea behind the set the, the devil trying to turn the heart of your father against you 
or your mother against you or your loved ones or your employer or your boss or your pastor whatever why does satan enjoy wickedness what does it do to him hallelujah wickedness or evil generally is brought to attempt to achieve three things number one to discredit god to discredit god in your life to discredit god if there is anything satan is obsessed about is bringing you to a point where the credibility of god drops to zero in your life how many of you have had people say i used to trust god but right now i trust anything that works god or others have you heard people speak like that they say i remember i trusted god from 17 years till 40 years god didn't bring a husband right now i trust any other thing whether a stick a candle fire once it produces result i trust it that's exactly the goal of wickedness when armed robbers attack you and you are shouting jesus jesus and they still injure you and they wound you when certain things happen they attempt to discredit god discredit the word never forget this the mystery of wickedness was put in place by satan first in an attempt to prove that god is not as great as we claim he is so when a man has been victimized so much that 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 pain becomes a stronghold in his mind how many of you have seen people that when you are praying their eyes are even open they are just looking at you say in jesus name amen while you are praying they feel like slapping you once you just round up the prayer they just move you know they didn't believe this at all the mystery of wickedness at work in their lives hallelujah are you getting my point when you tell your parents oh i'm attending koinonia god is doing great things and then the devil orchestrates something terrible to happen are you getting me your father has an accident or something like that and he returns back and you say daddy I just wanted you to know that I dropped your name in the prayer request. He will give you a dirty slap and say, you and all the liars and every man of God is a liar. The mystery of wickedness. Number one, to discredit God. Do you not see that that was exactly what Lucifer tried to do in the Garden of Eden? He came and met Eve. Read his conversation with Eve. He said, did God really say if you eat of this fruit, you will die? Now, you know that he used half truth, right? He was not, he just patched it up. He said, but do you know that there is a story you do not know? And that's why, that's what you will know when you eat of this fruit. And truly, when they ate of the tree, the eye, their eyes were open and they began to have a sense of the knowledge of good and evil. So, number one, to discredit God. Number two, number two, to weaken and possibly destroy your faith in God. To weaken and destroy your faith in God. The Bible says, be not weak in faith. Speaking about Abraham now. Be not weak in faith. The Bible says, he considered not. So, wickedness is orchestrated by Satan. Listen, please. Wickedness is orchestrated by Satan to weaken your faith. When you really see wickedness, you will need to trust God to stand. That's what philosophers are using. Why can a loving God allow children to be dying in Sudan? Is that not what people say? How can a loving God allow this and that to happen? And it weakens your faith. This is why Jesus says, if the Son of Man returns, will he find faith in the earth? Hallelujah. Are you getting my point? Especially for many of us who have been taught that when things go wrong in your life, 
It's a sign that something is wrong with you. It's a sign that something is wrong. Satan capitalizes on the inconsistency of that message. And when anything happens, you just believe that this trust you've been having in God. This is why Job said, though he slay me, Satan, you won't achieve what you are trying to achieve. Though he slay, are you seeing now? Job's wife came to a point where she was tired. She said, Job, Mio, I don't think God is faithful again. Curse God and die. When your wife tells you to curse God and die, that's a level of discouragement because she's supposed to be the last person that will stand by you. Are you getting my point now? So to discredit God, to discredit God, number two, to weaken or totally destroy your faith. Number three, what's the goal of the mystery of wickedness? To perpetuate, listen please, very important, to, I'm thinking of the best way to put it, to to become a channel through which the program and the evil agenda of Satan for nations will continue. Let me explain what I mean. How many of you have heard that word covenant? Why will the devil want our forefathers huh, to go and bow to him and enter a covenant on behalf of people yet unborn? What, what, is, what is his passion about people that are not born yet? Are you getting what I'm, I'm trying to explain now? Because Satan is trying to secure a channel through which he can pass a transgenerational channel. Do you understand what I'm teaching you now? Are you getting my point? So although it will take 30 or 50 or 100 years for this generation to be born, Satan will say, you, since you are representing them, and I'm going to explain this to you. I will explain to you, I hope, if I can remember, the mystery of reproduction. And you understand that reproduction is not just about sex and giving birth. The Bible says by one man, not one woman, sin was transferred. Are you getting me? By one man, through the blood. Praise the Lord. So, he now enters a covenant and says, alright, in this family, we will worship you, give us children. We will worship you, give us protection. Deal. Is that true? Now he can go and give birth to 30 children, no CS with his wife. No CS, no hospital. But there will not be any complication because a pact had been entered. Are you getting my point? Fast forward two or three generations, somebody comes up and says, I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm not going to involve myself with all of these things. Because, you see, I'm going to talk about the mystery of blood. Blood does not have time. It speaks. It will raise an alert in the realm of the spirit. Something is being compromised here. And the next thing that will happen is that these people, because they are trying to breach a contract. Are you getting me? So it will activate the mystery of wickedness. The devil will now come to say, who is trying to stop this? And if you have authority enough, you will be the one who will break that cycle and enact a new one. Are you getting me? And if you do not sustain enough knowledge, you will die. And then the devil will say, this is a, an example of what I can do with anybody who plays with me. And the other person will say, I'm willing. Are you getting my point now? I don't know how you are going to write the third point, but that's what I, that's what the third point is. Praise the Lord. To become a channel through which transgenerational wickedness will be perpetuated. God bless you, sir. The mystery of wickedness. Look up. How many of you know that if there are no human beings in the earth, wickedness will be unfruitful. It won't yield any result. Is that true? When you understand this, you will know that wickedness will not cease. In fact, the Bible says it this way. The Bible says, um, how did he put it now? 
He says, ah, end time, Matthew 24. How did he put it? How that people will be offended. Is that true? Paraphrasing like wickedness will increase. The imaginations that are in the hearts of men will increase. Look at me. Those who are praying, listen, and I want you to get this. Those who want to solve their family problems by just saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, wickedness will not happen to me. When I finish with you, you will know that there are certain things that if you do not do, that prayer is incomplete. Because there is already a seed, like a gene. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you believe what I'm teaching? I know this is wrestling a lot of our theology. Oh, I'm in Christ. Calm down. We're, 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 we're heading somewhere. Because many of us have been cheated. Oh, therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. I will show you that your personal salvation does not change your territory. Are you getting my point? That I am born again does not automatically make my mother, brother, sister, and father born again. If that were the case, everybody would just kneel down on behalf of their clan and just accept Jesus once and for all and let's rest from this nonsense. Hallelujah. Is that true? So wickedness is real. And the goal is to discredit God. To weaken your faith. Every single arsenal that Satan launches at the believer is aimed at discrediting the faithfulness of God. Because he has a name and he is called faithful and true. That means he does not lie. That means he cannot lie. That means he is ever, he's, 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 um, ever faithful through all generations. But when things begin to happen in your life, that negate what the word of God is saying. That's Satan attempting to discredit God in your life. Say amen. The mystery of wickedness. Wickedness is real, brothers and sisters. This operation is working in our government. This operation is working in our families. Look at me. Look at me. How many of you have heard the stories of parents... Who will put something in hot iron and carry it and press it on their children? Is that called discipline? That is the mystery of wickedness. Hallelujah. Or a mother look at her own daughter and say, I curse you. You won't marry, you won't move forward. This is a, it's a spirit. It's not just an attitude. Are you getting what I'm saying, please? And if we do not understand this and deal with this, it will limit us in a very mighty way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for opening our eyes. So the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world, your village, your house, the job you are trying to look for, that office is in the midst of wickedness. You may be born again, but are your fellow employees born again? Hallelujah. And you are going to have to live with them. You do business with wicked people. You go to buy rice and buy gari from somebody who went to a herbalist. You bought it. You ate. Is that true? So you're not going to say, me, I'll only work with Christians. Uh -uh. It's impossible. You live in a world where everyone is permitted to believe what he wants to believe. And because of our interrelations, you must find yourself relating with people. So you must know how to keep Satan where he belongs. Praise the Lord. Are you following me so far? Hallelujah. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the realms and jurisdiction, the boundaries of demonic operation. I won't stay too long in this aspect because I guess that this is the part that has brought fear and confusion and this is one of the most unscriptural areas of spiritual warfare in terms of its explanation. This is where you have people um, write accounts in an attempt to show us the structure 
and the organogram. Are you following me now? I know that there are many books, hundreds and probably thousands and even millions on books of books on spiritual warfare, deliverance, and so on and so forth. And there are many opinions. Are you getting me? The Bible tells us something very interesting. It said, do not be ignorant of the devices. I told you the word devices is the word stratomai. His strategies. So, we are just concerned about his strategies. We are not necessarily concerned about the kingdom and what the organogram of the satanic kingdom is. Are you getting my point? I personally believe that an extensive study into the organogram and the structure of Satan is not really necessary. Especially in light of the fact that we know that in Christ he has been defeated. Are you following what I'm saying? So, I'm just guiding us just to bring awareness. There are many books and I've read some of them. You have read some of them. Hallelujah. They begin to tell you all kinds of things. They list physical territories in the earth where there are headquarters of demonic activities and so on and so forth. Now, I'm not, I do not have enough authority to dispute the things that are being written. Are you getting my point? Especially for those that do not compromise the written word of God. Some of these things were written by people who allegedly said they were part of the demonic kingdom and for some of them they were deep into occultism there are lots of books occult grandmaster now in christ there are books by rebecca brown mary baxter um dr olukoya who is considered to be an authority in the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare there are a lot of others you know different brothers prophets people and so on and so forth who have written books others went to heaven others went to hell others died and came back others just studied the bible so we have this extensive um description level 111 level 999 level 666 level you know this and that and that and for many people we have rather than concentrating on the strategies the methods of Satan and understanding our victory, we have paid attention trying to study and research on the organization of the demonic kingdom. Let me tell you something. If you do that, the danger is that everything will suddenly become demonic around you. Have you seen people like that? Why are you looking at me like this? They just say, Kai. This lady, you are, because of something they read, they say, okay, in our kingdom, when we want to seduce a man, we look at him like this. So a lady is quietly, she's even feeling sleepy and just looking at you. Just say, Kai, in Jesus' name, don't, blood of Jesus, you are putting sign of the cross. So we don't want to see this kind of immaturity in the body of Christ. That's why there must be a balance. Are you following me? There are people who don't wear black on Friday or on Sunday because they read a book and they say, every time you wear black on Friday, notice, check left, you will see a star. That's a sign that we are coming out. You know, and all kinds of sects come up with... Now, I hope you understand that I'm not condemning anybody. You get my point? I'm only trying to explain to you that it is quite counterproductive to spend all of our time and energy trying to understand the entire organization listen how many ceos maintain the same structures they change so that you were delivered from occult in 1980 does not mean the organogram that used to exist still exists it is logical for any leader to be dynamic are you getting my point so when you come and say okay there is a demon his name is Luke. He's the one in charge of Zaria. He's the one appointed to stop Koinonia. His name is Luke. What if Luke... What? What, what if Luke was promoted or demoted and they now brought another person and you are still advocating and you say, Luke, I'm speaking to you now. You are hearing my voice. Luke is somewhere saying me. I'm not even in Nigeria again. And now you're shouting. You see, there is a lot of spiritual ignorance. A lot of it. And most of this has come because we have uh, not necessarily gone out of scripture, but taken other materials and 
use them as the ultimate templates to help us understand the realm of the spirit. I think sufficient enough is the information the Bible gave us about Satan. I believe it is sufficient enough. Praise God. You get my point? If you were in the occult before and you were delivered and you wrote a book, please don't feel sad. If you wrote prayer point that your book should increase, it will increase. We prayed for you. Hallelujah. But at the same time, don't go about sitting down teaching people and saying, okay, in the realm of the spirit, red means danger. White means this. Yellow means this. So don't wear yellow shirts. If you really mean business with prosperity, keep yellow shirts aside. This is part of the teaching that has moved from church to church and place to place. So we have brought religiosity and a lot of forms of religion in an attempt to keep Satan. There is nowhere in scripture, listen, or you say, ah, don't take products from Procter and Gamble. They are Freemason and all of that. What do they make? How many of you have used their inhaler? You force it in your nose and you are, and did you go to hell? The demons come to disturb you. You see, I'm saying this thing because we are touching on this topic and I'm trying to clear the air. There are many of you who say, I know somebody is a bad person. He sells meat. Me, I know this guy goes to the Habalis. We won't eat his meat. Question. The one you have been eating before, who told you that that meat was not taken to a Habalis? Are you getting my point? Rather than allowing fear put religious rules, why don't you rise up in Revelation and realize that the Bible says a thousand shall come by your side. Only God knows how many poisons I've eaten in my life. Because the Bible says when they serve you, just give thanks and eat. Hallelujah. Many of us don't eat certain people's food. Just said, this lady is always frowning. At. I won't eat her food though. I don't know what I've entered right now. And then many of us, listen, I have had other teachings. Aha, let me even talk about it. I've had other teachings that say somebody can come to you. Come. He can just come and hug you and he has initiated you. Listen, let me balance something very quick. Was that how you got born again? You think, listen, I want you to understand that the will of man is a powerful force. Even Jesus stood at the door of the heart and was knocking until man agreed to open. Are you getting my point? If you are not in Christ or you are ignorant of the principles of the kingdom, it is possible. Are you getting my point? But to now come and say, oh, because I'm just sitting down and you came to put with one on my head, suddenly I've been initiated, except you don't carry fire. The witch doctor together with his fire, it will burn into ashes there. There was a time people were complaining that a particular woman in Joss, she was doing some kinds of funny things and then getting power to make people come and eat her food. You know how many people ate that food? <laughs> when they told me the restaurant, I laughed. I said, oh Lord, I don't know whether I'm eating here or not, but it cannot have power over me. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me i pity the person that will go to a coven and call my name that's the last time you have the opportunity to shout it believe me see i'm rushing myself because let me see if we can get to weapons of victory except you don't know the spiritual arsenals you carry let me tell you satan can bow this is the sweetest part of this gist. That's why I want to rush all these things so that we'll get there. Say after me, Satan can bow. 
I hate the way Satan has been so magnified. There are many people who teach, they say, do you know that these classes of demons are so powerful? Not even you can stand them. There are people who believe that. I don't believe that. Absolutely. I don't believe it. The Bible says, God gave him a name that is above every other name. He said at the mention of that name, every knee, not some, every knee must bow. Hallelujah. Let's rush. So, jurisdiction, number one. Number one. The realm of the spirit. Territories of operation. Or realms of operation. Number one. The Bible says that they operate in heavenly places. So, that is a realm of demonic operation. Please write quickly. Can you put strings? I'll put it on there. Hallelujah. Wickedness. Now, these are the territories that exert it upon government. Remember that the Bible says, there's no time to show you this. The Bible says when Daniel was praying, remember the story? The Bible says that principality that was operating over the territory of Persia, the prince of Persia, which stood the prayers of Daniel. Is that true? When Gabriel was going to bring him the answer, he said, when, he, when Gabriel arrived, he said, from the very first day that you set yourself to pray, your prayers were heard, okay? And while he was coming, the prince of that territory. So there are powers that station themselves across territories. That's why you can see that certain geographical territories exhibit similarities of certain character. Is that true? You find out that certain people, certain territories, the men are irresponsible. Certain territories, you know, they, they, are, they are given to anger. Certain territories, they are given to irresponsibility and all kinds of things. You find out that it's a common trait because of this operations of darkness in the heavenlies second is the air please take notes this is very important notice that it is the features that the holy spirit uses to manifest himself that satan also operates there the air the bible talks of the prince of the power of the air these spiritual forces of wickedness are the ones who manipulate and control people because the media is through the power of the air. Are you getting my point now? They are, they are the ones who initiate mind control systems. And this is probably one of the most disastrous manifestations of darkness. Deception and ignorance. Are you learning something now? So the air, the prince of the power of the air second scriptural proof that the air is one jurisdiction of operation remember when jesus was going to meet the madman in gadara what happened the bible says suddenly the winds and the waves became boisterous but jesus looked and he knew that this was not just about wind this was not just about the storm look at the tsunami that happens is it not wind wind these are spirits it's just that we cannot see it with our optical eyes. They are spirits. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? So the air. Number three, water. Water. This is very important. This is where we talk about the marine world or marine spirits. This is the jurisdiction of darkness that is responsible for prosperity, for lust, for seduction. And all kinds of perversion. Every kind of immoral perversion is associated with this dimension of demonic operation. Water. Very important. Are you learning something tonight? Water. And this one is very important. That's why you find out that territories that are covered around the river Rhine areas exhibit attitudes of lust are you getting me lost unfaithfulness in marriage and all kinds of you see it rampant are you getting my point 
this is spiritual intelligence i will give you sufficient to the point that you need that i believe you can research more but i think that explaining to you what i'm explaining to you is giving you intelligence so that when you are talking with people it's like a doctor diagnosing a patient with this spiritual intelligence you will understand you will know how to act hallelujah praise the lord there was a time i remember at the bar beach it was it was a popular issue that uh, i think a particular bank or organization built a glass house is that true they built a glass house and the witches and wizards around the marine they wrote a letter to them they said you better do something about those buildings before we scatter it you are interrupting us water very important very important Job began to talk of the deep sea creatures he called it Leviathan the deep sea creatures that arise from the water you read the book of revelations and it tells you you see the interaction of water and all of these things so I've told you the realm of the spirit the air the atmosphere the water this water one is very serious do you know something I will show you from scripture something that may surprise you do you know everything you see in existence the animals and the rest do you know they came out of water they came out of water genesis let me show you very quickly there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army the rising up they'll break every chain 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 help me search for it Genesis 2 verse what 21 yeah beautiful thank you good Bible students Verse 20 and 21, Genesis 1. Are you there? I just want to show you that the water is a very mysterious object. And God said, let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So there is a mystery of abundance and water. Are you understanding me? Is it in your Bible? He said, let the waters bring forth abundantly. The moving creature that have life. Where did they come out from? He said, and the fowl that may fly. Even the fowl came out of the water. It's in your Bible. Above the earth, in the open firmaments of the heaven, verse 21. And God created great sea monsters. And every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Are you seeing now? Is it in your Bible? The water. Very, very important. This is why Satan associates himself a lot and there are many demonic, diabolic things that happen with water. Hallelujah. The next medium of manifestation is fire. Notice that these are the same expressions of the spirit fire almost everyone here or most of our villages have festivals there is no festival without fire how many of you have seen diabolic people put fire and keep putting it around them what are they trying to achieve it is a realm of operation of demonic substances see let me tell you something fire is a big mystery big mystery you can't hold it 
it doesn't fear anything but it consumes everything that come ar comes around it hallelujah fire very important even the world will be judged with fire the first judgment was with water the second judgment will be with fire hallelujah number what now four number what five i'm going to give it to you now the fifth one is the earth dust earth adam Look at me. How many of you have seen people in your village get angry and they carried sand and spoke to it and dropped it back? Or like the Igbo people do when they take small drink, they pour small on the ground and say to our ancestors, hmm. What is it about the earth? The prophet looked and said, O earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. That means the earth is not non-living like we teach in biology. It was in the days of Moses. The Bible says the people rebelled against God and the earth opened its mouth. It has mouth. It swallowed them. Till tomorrow we cannot find them. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? These are jurisdictions of operation. That's why priests and the rest put their shrines on the ground and then they sit down even if you give them one million they won't go and build a luxurious house that earth they must associate themselves with the earth hallelujah these levels this medium these realms of operation every manifestation every single medium of manifestation let me give you one more are you ready human beings human vessels as far as satan is concerned this is the best medium of manifestation why because every other thing i've listed does not have a will they don't have willpower as it were are you getting me and they don't have souls only human beings have souls please are you learning something So Satan entered the madman. Remember the madman in Gadara. Do you know that the entire spirits across those territories, they were resident in that man. He stayed in caves. He was alone. He caught himself. But the moment Jesus was coming, without any publicity, he came out and went to wait close to the water and was waiting for Jesus to arrive. Immediately Jesus arrived, he began to talk to him. He said, we know who you are. Have you come to destroy us before our time? What time? What time did Satan teach them? Let me tell you something about the powers of darkness that you must understand. When they say their time has not come, what that means is this. Listen. You cannot seize their operation from the earth, but you can seize their operation from your territory. Are you getting this? Please understand this. That's why we can't all sit down right now and say, Satan, leave the whole world. Go to Venus or Mars. Relocate there. After all, it's empty. Go and build a new kingdom. Leave us in peace. So says the apostles and the prophets. No, you can't do that. What you can do, even Jesus, while he was on earth, he didn't cast Satan out of everywhere. Wherever he met with him, he told him, Mr. Man, go. Listen, Jesus himself answered one request of demons. They said, please cast us to the pigs. What did he say? In other words, he knew that as far as exiting this realm is concerned, they are not going to leave. What we can do, are you getting my point? So that there are certain prayers we will stop praying at once. Are you getting my point? Many people pray and what they mean by their prayer is to tell the devil, bye-bye, pack your load and go. Let me not see you and don't even go. Have you heard that prayer? I cast you into Gehenna. Have you heard that kind of prayer? Don't come out again. Uh, 
Is that really an accurate prayer? No, no, don't feel bad. Believe me, with the kind of prayerful people on earth, if that prayer were answerable by now, there would have been some clear air that shows that sufficient demons have gone down to Gehenna. Gehenna is called the place of the dead. Are you getting my point? Listen, he said resist the devil. There are people that pray all kinds of prayers. Oh, we cast you and we lock you up across a forest. Just stay there. Those kinds of prayers are not accurate prayers. Please, please listen. Don't be offended if you are used to praying those kinds of prayer. But I want you to know that we cannot cast Satan and demons out of the earth. We can only secure our territory. Are you getting my point? Because the Bible says Satan is like a roaring lion. He's like that. He moves to and fro. Praise the Lord. Say I'm learning something. Water. Wind. The atmosphere. I just want you to know that these are operations of darkness. Every time a native doctor or a herbalist wants to do certain things, one or more of these elements must be in place. Yet, these are the same elements that the Holy Spirit associates himself with. What does that tell you? Discrediting God. You see that? Thank you, Jesus. Let's touch on weapons of victory. I'll just use one and then we'll stop. Where? What's the time? Oh, there's time. Praise God. Don't look at the time. Look at me. The clock is not preaching to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, before we talk of the weapons of victory, let me just speak very quickly on the strategies of Satan. The strategies. The strategies. This is, I think this is the one that is very important. Strategies. There are three main strategies from scripture. They will not change. This is the one you can bank on. They will not change. Do not be ignorant of the devil's stratomai, his strategy, his way of doing things. It can come in different forms, but it is one of these three. Number one, I shared it last week, ignorance. 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 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. Ignorance. Are you there? Okay, I thought it was projected. Let me turn there. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. In whom the God of this world. Okay. 2 Corinthians 4. Not Chronicles. Sorry. 2 Corinthians. No problem. Let's continue. In whom the God of this world or this age. The word age there is aeon. In whom the God of this system. The thinking pattern of this system. Has blinded the minds of them who believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of christ who is the image of god should shine upon them is that in your bible it says satan did what blinded their minds everybody say ignorance the number one and hear me as sophisticated as satan looks his greatest strategy is to maintain ignorance in the lives of believers or across territory say ignorance notice every manifestation of wickedness in the earth realm has been strengthened by the ignorance of the people because the moment they know they will revolt until victory comes every bad government in the world has been able to execute its agenda by enforcing ignorance are you getting that that's the spirit of the power of darkness say ignorance ignorance now come 
Any other guy again? Come. I need two gentlemen. Stand here, stand here. I want to explain something. Stand here, stand here. Now, please, everybody look at me. I want you to understand this and I pray you get this revelation in Jesus' name. There are two sides to the understanding of the kingdom. Please don't forget. There are what? Two sides. The first is understanding the person of Jesus Christ. The person of Jesus Christ. The second is the principles of Jesus Christ. And that's what we call the principles of the kingdom. Is that true? Are you following me please? So the person of Jesus Christ, when you come under the lordship of Jesus Christ, when you surrender to Jesus Christ, you have embraced his person. But that does not automatically mean that you have knowledge of the principles of the kingdom. Are you getting my point? The person of Jesus Christ secures your eternal destiny and secures your peace. The principles of Jesus Christ secure your victory in this earth realm. So there are many well-meaning believers who know the person of Jesus Christ in terms of their loyalty to him, but they lack sufficient understanding of kingdom principles. Are you getting my point? For instance, there are many well-meaning Christians who are poor and broke and they may remain like that forever. And they believe that just by being close to Jesus Christ, automatically prosperity comes. No, there, there is a kingdom principle that governs it. Is that true? There are many people, although they are close to God, many people hate them because the kingdom principle for access is honor. Are you getting my point now? So whether you are a Christian or not, when you dishonor people, you will never have access. Are you getting my point? So there is ignorance. What Satan tries to do is to take this first level of ignorance to stop you from seeing the light of the gospel to come to Jesus Christ in the first place. But if he does not succeed and by any means you surrender your heart to Jesus Christ, this becomes the second phase of the ignorance. He stops you. Are you getting my point now? So there are many well-meaning Christians who... The devil has lost it on them as far as the person of Jesus is concerned. But he has shielded them from understanding the principles of the kingdom. That's why when somebody gets born again, the next mission is to subject him under a radical teaching ministry where the principles of the kingdom will be taught and then he will understand. This is what spiritual growth is about. Growing in intimacy. This is why we call koinonia intimacy and partnership intimacy is our knowledge as we progress deeper to know god partnership is our working with the word and with the spirit are you getting my point now do you understand this this explanation i've given you because the greatest tool that satan uses his number one strategy is what ignorance so an unbeliever comes. How many of you have seen a lot of unbelievers who understand Bible verses? They understand a lot of Bible verses. You say something, they ask you, they say, okay, let's turn to the book of Matthew. I have this and that. And the next thing, they will not accept the simplicity of the gospel. Are you getting me? To surrender to Jesus Christ. Then, when they eventually surrender, the devil makes them feel that there is nothing more in the kingdom. So, they remain in church and they think remaining in church is equal to spiritual growth. So, eventually they tell you, I've been here 20 years. And based on that, there is nothing you will tell me. Ignorance of the principles. Are you getting my point? This is the deliverance that is happening to some of you right now. Because you are born again. But you don't know why things are not moving the way the word says should be. Could it be? that you do not yet have the comprehension. Paul himself prayed in Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 to the Ephesian church who were already born again. He said, for this cause, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant unto you the spirit of what? Wisdom and understanding or revelation. 
the eyes of your understanding being enlightened flooded with light that ye may know so the bible tells us that according as his divine power has given us what all things but those all things are encapsulated in knowledge when you have access to the principles the door opens up to you at once that's why all things are not possible for everybody what is possible for me although we are all equal in christ but our comprehension of kingdom principles have created the divide so i can speak to a demon spirit and say go and he will go not because my born again is greater than your own but my i have a greater comprehension two students in the same class taught by the same teacher one gets 100 one gets 50. are you seeing that now it is the degree of their comprehension it is because of that that some will be 30 fold some will be 60 fold and some will bear what they all produced but according the bible says those who were on good soil were the ones who had and understood but the difference was their degree of understanding are you following me now say the person of jesus say the principles of jesus say the person of jesus say the principles of the kingdom the question i want to ask you is how many principles of the kingdom do you know this is the measure. See, listen. Listen, this is very important. Healing, for instance, healing comes from the body of Jesus. By his stripes, we are healed. Are you seeing that? Favor does not just happen automatically. So, when you understand the laws of the spirit, then you will know how to navigate through life. So whenever you, f you see a roadblock, you go back and search out diligently what kingdom principle is responsible for the result you are looking for. Because if God did it, then it is possible. It is only the light that will open the door. So arise and shine. Not because you want to arise. Your light, access. When that revelation comes and you understand it, the door is opened at once. If you understand what I'm teaching right now, it's automatic. You don't need to pray about it. That's why, see, the Bible says while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was moving around, waiting for those who will understand and believe, so that at once it will be activated. While Peter yet spake these things, the Holy Ghost fell on them because they understood and they believed immediately. Are you getting the point now? So when the word of God returns to him, it's because he did not find a believer. Praise the Lord. Are you getting me? Bless you. Bless you. Weapons of victory. Let me just take one. The name of Jesus. Hmm. I will share a revelation about the name. There are many weapons of victory. Maybe let me just run through a few of them. The name of Jesus. The mystery of the blood of Jesus. Listen. The power of praise. The power of a seed. I'm going to teach you the weapon, spiritual arsenals that will lock the hands of Satan at once. The power of prayer. Hallelujah. The power of unity. The power of love. All of these are dangerous spiritual weapons. That will keep Satan where he belongs. Is this teaching benefiting you? Are you getting something? So I'll just take on one of them. The power of the name of Jesus. We'll sing that song. There is power. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We'll sing that song one more time. To the shame of the devil. And then we'll just pray. Just pray in tongues for a minute or two. And then you sit down. I'm about to give you a revelation that will set you on fire. Shabakata labaka presekete baladadada. Shembre da baladadada. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. To break every chain, to break every chain, 
to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Sing it one more time. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Can you stretch in tongues for just one minute? Shakata bakata preketa. Mamroso tekata balada baka. Shapata la bako. Mamroso tekata baka. Shapata. Ipa pa pa preketa. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power. There is power. Ipa pa pa. In the name of Jesus. There is power. Ipa pa pa. Shoko toni ga ba. Shoko pa pa. Mamroso tekata baka. Mamroso tekata baka. Ipa pa pa. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Ina do so pa pa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Take your Bibles. Let me have your attention. Lord, let our eyes be open. Show us something powerful. Let me tell you something. There are many of you, if you catch this revelation tonight, you will be amazed. This name will work for you. Years ago, I called this name, oh, nothing happened. I shouted Jesus. I said it like a special number. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Open our eyes, oh God. I show you a mystery right now. Mark 16. Break every chain. There are some chains that need to be broken. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Verse 15. Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Take my value system to every creature. He said, he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believe, believe not shall be damned. 17, if you are a believer, please read it. One, to read is projected. Stop. Stop. This sign shall follow them that believe. They will do certain things when they have a revelation of my name. He said, in my name, they will do what? It tells you all the things that can be possible in the name. In my name, they shall number one, number two, number three. They shall take up what? Hold on. What is the meaning of that? What is they shall take up serpents? What is the meaning of they shall take up serpents? I will soon explain it to you because Jesus told Moses. I mean, God told Moses, remember, he said, take the serpent from the tail. I will show you what that means. They shall take up serpents. It doesn't just mean carry a physical snake. Remember at the burning bush, when Moses met with God, I, you remember, are you getting my point? He threw the rod. Is that not true? And he told him to take it, to hold it by the tail. Is it not in your Bible? I will show you what that means. To take up serpents. It's a revelation. It's a revelation. I will show you a scripture that says the horn in a man's body is on his hands. A horn is a symbol of power. Are you getting my point? So he said with that horn, you will take up serpents. It's a mystery. I will explain. He said in my name that will happen. He said and if they drink any deadly thing, that means if they move in my name, no poison will harm them. So long as it is in my name. 
He said they shall lay hands. I will show you the mystery of the laying on of hands. It's not just about touching people. The horn in a man's body is his hands. The apostle said that you will stretch forth your mighty hands. The right hand of God, the Bible says, is the hand of power. Not his right leg. He said they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Listen, I want to explain to you the mystery of the name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, if I call you, come. Benga. The first revelation of the name of a man is it invites his presence. When you invoke the name of a man, his presence is encapsulated in his name. Are you seeing this? I called his name and what happened? His presence showed up. So the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming their words with signs. It happened because a personality was answering to his name. So they went in the name. This is what it means to come in the name of the Lord. To come with the backing, the presence of God. Weapons of victory that can kick any satanic arsenal out of your life. Hallelujah. Watch this. I called his name. And he confirmed that that name is true. The name of a man is his identity. Every time, see, listen, listen. That's why when God met certain people, he changed their names. Because the name of a man represents the prophecy of his life. It represents his ability. It represents the prophecy upon his life. When he met Jacob, he said, no, you are not a cheat and a supplanter. As a prince with God, you have fought and prevailed. I changed your name to Israel. And the prophecy started following him. The mother of Jabez bore him in sorrow. And all through his life, the name was following him. Name follows people. A name is a spirit. It's a presence. And Jabez said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Change my name. Hallelujah. Are you getting the revelation now? So the first revelation is that the name of Jesus compels his presence to show up in that sea. Listen. Now you understand what Paul was saying. Say not in your heart who will ascend to heaven and bring God or who will go to the deep. He said, but the word is near you, even in your mouth. That means when it is uttered with revelation, the presence shows up. No time, no distance. Are you getting my point? This is a very, very powerful revelation. Very powerful revelation. You must believe this. Let me demonstrate something. Take this, hold it. This is ordinary handkerchief. Who brought this handkerchief? Are you seeing this? This is an ordinary handkerchief. He's holding it, right? Give it back to me. Watch the power of the name. This is not just for jamboree. Thank you, Jesus, in your name. Hold this. Hold it. What is the difference? He just held this. Is it not so? He held this. He held this. You see the power of God there breaking out again. See, this is a revelation. This is why saying in Jesus' name is not what will bring the miracle. There is a revelation. This is what I want you to know. It will rattle from the realm of the spirit and it will affect you in this realm. This is a handkerchief he held. That's why I did it in your presence. It's the name. Say not in your heart who will go and bring him from heaven. He is closer to you. This is what koinonia is about. The reality of a personality that can be demonstrated here and now. Paul said we do not teach cunningly devised fables. These are not just stories that cannot be proven. Unbelief. So you can be, listen, you can say Jesus, Jesus, nothing will happen. The next thing I want you to know is, what is really this name? Let's examine it. What is the name? We have said what the name can do, but what is the name? Look up, please. I want to shock you. 
Listen. The name is not Jesus. You see where people have been missing it? This is a hospital. There's surgery going on right now. The name is not Jesus. He said in my name. He didn't write the name there. He just said if you can find what that name is. What is the name? The name is not J-E-S-U-S. Listen. The Bible says Isaiah speaking. He said you shall bear a son. They shall call him what? Emmanuel. Did they ever call Jesus Emmanuel? But the prophet said that will be his name. The name was a revelation that God is with us. Is that true? He said they shall call him Emmanuel. Nobody ever called Jesus Emmanuel. Jesus was a name that was given to him in the earth realm. There are Mexicans that bear Jesus today. In fact, in Hebrew tongue and Aramaic, it's not Jesus. It's Jesus. That's what they call it. So it's not in the pronunciation. It's not in J-E-S-U-S. Before we pray, tonight, once and for all, I want to reveal to you what this name is. In my name, Kaya Zata Kabarata Makapakata Teketa Tadeka Zekapata Beka Mambrosko Pekatalia Baba 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 Zekeproska Bariata Sokotopa Sopadiata Embleketeka Bashoteka Rento Sopakata Seketelekete In the name I come in the name I come in the name. I come in the name. Breketeke bau shapariya na bakose keteke ne ba. E pa shapata predi bakose kata ya. Ne bau shapa predi bau shapariya na bakose keteke ne bregadiya. Man breteke shapariya na bakose. Get this revelation tonight. Get this revelation tonight. Get it. And rise to a new level. Get it. And rise to a new realm. A new dimension. You don't have to shake it. The real is here. The authentic is here. Listen. Listen. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. I want to explain something to you. Listen. Many of you think that it is an act of arrogance when i tell you all men are not equal we are equal in christ but something has separated people the bible says there are some bodies terrestrial some celestial not everybody you see is the same it's not pride this is why we are bringing us higher i tell you the truth you will shake hell this is how you will live as if satan does not exist you are coming in the name. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2. Zeka kapata kata balada bakate basia. Zende brato shalama. God doesn't care whether it's Koinonia or anywhere. Anywhere his name is mentioned, he shows up. He doesn't want to know whether you are playing or you are taking it serious. It's a law. When you invoke it, he shows up. Because every man answers his name. Only a dead man does not answer his name. Oh, I believe the Bible. There is an angel standing close to this lady. breakthroughs are already happening deliverances are happening believe it deliverances are happening i hear the chains falling strongholds i hear the chains falling i command every chain fall I, I give the, the chains, chains falling. I command every chain fall. I give the chain I command every chain fall. I command every chain fall. I command every.
show you something that will surprise you. Hallelujah. Sam, come. Watch this. Father, let the sounds rise in your name. Watch what will happen as he sings. Just raise any song and sing. Let hope rise Darkness trembles in your holy life. And let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Let hope rise. was the same person that ministered the same person that seemed many of you do not understand the power in the name Jesus didn't lie to us believe me that name is powerful that name is powerful every demon and every spirit just the Simba in this place right now every foul devil at the count of three i come in the name go 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 every spirit every demon every devil i command you in the name go out out you will not return again go go He said in his name, we will cast out demons. I cast out demons now in that name. Go, go, go. I take a baba baba baba. Cabra. So proto so pregete. Every problem you have come here with tonight, it leaves you here now. Every problem you came here with, I don't care what it is. In the name, in the name, it will bow now. Every problem, every problem, every challenge, health, finance. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Please sit down. 
if you can. We have to finish this. Please sit down. Sit down. Sit down if you can. If they can't sit down, just leave them, please. We have to hurry up. I'm teaching you this because God is depending on you. The goal is not to watch a man of God do this. The goal is to show you that this is a possibility here and now. Take that name. Go and dislodge powers in your house. Let the people of God know that your coming for koinonia is not just a religion. Without a demonstration of the kingdom, they will doubt you. Go and change the things they say cannot be changed. See, you don't need to care how it will happen. Just go in the name. Just go in the name. Philippians chapter 2. Let me reveal to you what that name is. That's why I told us to pray in tongues. Something special, supernatural, about the name Jesus. Something happens when I mention your name. Listen. God gave us power to solve problems. If you are not interested in solving problems, you will never get the power of the Holy Spirit. Solve problems. Philippians chapter 2. Let's hurry up. There are many weapons of victory, but I'll talk on one. Philippians chapter 2. Let's take it from verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Verse 9. Wherefore, Kabbalataya, God had so highly exalted him. Stop. I taught us last week that until Jesus died and rose again, he was not yet exalted. Is that true? Listen, I want to surprise you. The name was not yet given to man officially until he was coronated. Are you getting me? Because as it were, when Jesus was on the earth, his name was limited. Why was it limited? Because he was a man and he had not defeated death. So the last enemy to be destroyed, death, still had power over him. Are you getting my point? This is the reason, listen please. This is the reason why when he sent the 70, he begged them not to go to certain places because the power would not work there. But when he resurrected, remember Mary wanted to touch him. And he said, no, don't touch me. You will corrupt a coronation that is about to take place. This is what the psalmist saw. And he said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit down. Thou at my, that was the coronation service of Jesus. The moment that happened, he returned to earth and he said, all hail. Now, all power has been given. Go therefore. No boundaries, no limitations. You just go. Anywhere it will work because a coronation had happened. Are you getting the point now? So, he begins to give us by revelation. Paul said, wherefore, God exalted him and gave him. That means before then it had not been given. He gave him a name 
what is this name that we have been looking for he said which is above every other name verse 10 whatever that name is whenever that name of jesus he said at the name of jesus the name is not jesus every knee should bow at the name that was given to this person called jesus you get my point every knee should bow of things in heaven and of things in the earth and of things under the earth ready for the name let me show you 11 and every tongue should confess that that jesus christ has now received a name that is called lord that's the name that's the name that was given to him look at it that's the name lord psalm 24 quickly psalm 24 psalm 24 verse 1 psalm 24 verse 1 are you there everybody read one to go stop did he say the earth belongs to god do you know what lord is lord means master lord means owner Ma lord means authorized legislator authorized so the earth belongs to whoever will bear this name called lord the name was reserved no one had taken the name yet when jesus defeated death god said you now qualify take the name so you now become the literal possessor of the earth are you getting me now the earth is the lord's so the bible says if you want the name here is the condition the name is upon a mountain but who shall ascend to that hill and who shall stand in his holy place this is the requirement he that has clean hands and a pure heart no man qualified to ascend that hill but jesus was as a man tempted like us yet without sin so he ascended the mountain that's why the bible says before he led captivity captive he first ascended he descended after that he ascended he took the name and he came back and he entered the room without the door and he said all hail all authority has been given to me listen this is what jesus said listen he said whoever believes in me i will give the privilege to share my name you get the point that name lord so just like me he will become an authorized legislator so in my name he will cast out devils so that it will not make any difference whether it was jesus speaking physically or you or a handkerchief whatever comes in the name brings the presence of jesus directly that's why whether you speak English or Hausa or Greek, demons don't hear those things. They didn't speak English in Bible days. All you need to do is come in the name. So handkerchiefs and aprons were taken. Handkerchiefs and aprons. They contacted the name, Lord. It says, and the fullness thereof, the world, and all they that dwell therein. Listen. Listen, 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 please. The Lordship of Jesus is the revelation that when you come under, you have carried the name. It's not Jesus. It is a revelation that this man, God has made him both Lord and Christ. He's not just the anointed, but he has become the owner. Are you listening to me so if i look at this sister for instance i come in the name because she belongs to god i have the authority to cast out whatever is molesting her because i come in the name are you getting the revelation hold on many people think it is j-e-s-u-s -S. do you know why we shout jesus we want unbelievers to know that the owner of that name is jesus 
Are you getting my point? When you tell demons, go, is go, J-E-S-U-S, is go, L-O-R-D, they search in the spirit to see whether you have the revelation of that name. Once you have it, they will obey you. So after this night, you will go back home in the name. Many of you, you will go and look for what you left and say, where is it? And it will say, I left. Because the person who left was not the person who came back. You came in the name. Remember, there was a certain time even the disciples could not cast out devils from the epileptic patient because they did not have the name. They thought it was just Jesus doing a lot of things. Now when they had the name, Peter was angry in Acts 3. He said, now it's my time to shine. He saw the man who was lame. And the Bible says, it says, silver and gold I don't have, but I have something. You can know you have something. He said, this is what I have. In the name, you see that? That was his treasure. He said, this one, no man can take it from me. I may not have silver and gold, but I have something that can solve your problem. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up. The man was still looking at him. And Peter said, you don't know the power of the name I'm invoking. He held him and the Bible says, he leaping stood. Son of man, he said, can these dry bones live? He said, I don't know. He said, all right, now you prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. That's the secret. When God gives you his name, he has authorized you to legislate on his behalf. As many as received him, he gave them power. The power is not falling and rolling on the floor. The power is the ability to share in his lordship. Hallelujah. This is what makes ordinary men to become something else. So that you see an ordinary man moving. But you don't try him when he calls on a government that is bigger than you. You see that? We are going to pray. I've been hearing that there are many people that molest people on their way home. We are going to pray. Let me tell you the truth. I pity the next person that would try to molest anybody here. It's the name. It's the name. Listen. Please, I want you to believe this. Believe this. Years ago, they stole my laptop. Thieves came to our house. We we're all sleeping. They just carried the laptop. And my brothers were running to chase them. And honestly, when I got up, I just had commotion and I was laughing. My own was not that I lost. That I was just laughing. I said, oh, God, I love you. If my laptop doesn't return, give me money to buy another one. And an angel appeared before me and he just did this. And that was the end of it. Seven hours later, the laptop was back on my table. Hallelujah. Some people from nowhere mobilized themselves and made up their mind to look for the thief. They went and caught him in Pisa. I was busy counseling. The name, see, the name of Jesus is powerful. Don't let secular humanism or the things that, you, that did not work for you before make you think it does not work. Are you getting me? You say, ah, but I use the name. I told you they stole my wallet. My, the wallet didn't come back. But that does not ever mean that the name is not powerful. This is the problem with a lot of people. We are too, our, our faith is too small. The moment something does not happen, we just conclude. This thing doesn't work. You think so? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me stop here. We'll continue next week. Rise up. I feel the spirit of prayer. Hold your hands together. Come, take a take a labakaya. So top prakata take a prakata prakate. Hold your hands and pray in the spirit just for five minutes. Please, all the instruments coming. Pray in tongues. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very quickly, we'll take three prayer points. Number one, listen. Let me tell you why this name does not work for many people. There is a little secret in the Bible that many of us ignore. The secret to resisting the devil. The Bible says, submit to the mighty hand of God. Submit. Your degree of submission is your degree to which his authority will flow. Many of us have not yet submitted to the Lordship. You have given your heart to the Lord. That's true. But you have not come under his influence. Tonight, you are going to pray and say, Lord, I willingly submit to your authority, to your government. Pray and watch the wonder watch the wonder of what will begin to happen in your life inside and outside make sure you are praying Lord I submit to your governing influence Lord I submit to your mighty hand I submit I submit Lord I submit Hallelujah. Listen. The centurion surprised Jesus Christ. He gave Jesus a revelation that touched him. The, Jesus said, let's go to your house. He said, no, you don't need to go. For I am a man under authority. I'm under the authority of the Roman government and by reason of being under that authority I tell one go and he will go I'll tell the other come and Jesus said what I've not seen this kind of faith this kind of revelation in Israel submit yourself to the mighty hand of God then resist the devil hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the next five minutes, I like you. I don't know how you are going to pray. Leave your hands. Praise God. I know we are men of prayer. Listen, you have been confronting darkness, but you try it now in the name. You, you see the revelation. David met Goliath. He said, You come to me with your spares, but I come to you in a name. In a name, you come to me with bow and arrow. I mean, I may be small, but there is a name, an office. I invoke the power of an office. Hallelujah. Praise God. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what the Lord is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. What is it that he cannot do? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. The God of wonders. 
that can change situations. That is too hard for me to do. I am better. Hallelujah. Now listen. The issues that have been affecting your life and your family in the next five minutes, tell it I confront you in the name that sickness in the name. Come on, prayer warriors. Come on, prayer warriors. Seka teka 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 ka reko to ko to seka meko to ko we confront Lord in the name we confront in infirmity in the name the Lord is in this place the Lord is in His temple the Lord is in His temple shala ba ko seka ba the situation in my family is changing. Is changing. Is changing. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command healing. I command miracles. Hey, Command your marriage. Command your prayer life. Come alive. Hey, confront your unemployment issue. Confront your business. Confront your family. I come in the name. I come in the name. I come in the name. Set and get lost. The Lord rebuke you. 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 Let change fall. Let miracles occur. Let testimonies occur. Lord, I release breakthrough. 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 In every family. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Please listen. We are going to pray. And this night, you are going to say, I take my eyes away from every challenge. Whatever the devil has used to discredit God in my life. Are you hearing me? There are many of us that cannot trust God because of the things that have happened or the things that are happening the bible says abraham wavered not at his faith through unbelief he considered not the deadness of sarah's womb although she was close to a hundred years he counted him faithful faithful god cannot lie satan can be tired your faith can weary the devil listen Right now, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to prophesy and say, I take my eyes away. I don't care what is not working or what is working. God, you are faithful and your word must come to pass. You are not a man. Come on, lift your faith. Lift your voice and pray. Provoke faith. I'm a believer. I believe the word. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word will not fail. The word will not fail. Pray. 
let you say Christ in my spirit. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. His promises are yea and amen. Pray. That sickness will leave. That oppression will leave. That failure will fall. The marriage will come. The job will come. The building will be completed. Your spiritual life will grow. Your prayer life will grow. The habit will die. The marriage will work. Pray. Yes, Lord. We are men of faith. We are a faith filled generation. Koinonia is a place of faith. We are a trust in the Lord. Shall be like Mount Zion. Thou cannot be shaken. But abide there forevermore. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and leave not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him hallelujah hallelujah yes I see a lot of testimonies coming mighty testimonies believe me mighty testimonies hallelujah praise the lord the last prayer point i'm led for us to do this hallelujah you're going to hold hands with somebody if you can pair yourselves into three that will be excellent you are going to pray for the finances of the people in that circle provoke the heavens to be open the Lord in this month if, if there are not enough people just hold two or three anybody come on pray now we command it we command it in the name of Jesus let there be testimonies breakthroughs In the name of Jesus, testimonies, pray, it will happen, pray, it will work, pray. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Shekata bakata prekete bananaba, shoprokoto prekete, visit families, oh God, visit your people. In mighty ways, visit your people in miraculous ways. Prophesy, Gentiles, come to your light, King. To the brightness of thy rising, your gates are continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. You will call on one person and a nation will answer you. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Listen. Brothers and sisters, you do not do good to your loved ones. If you carry all this revelation and not work with it, it has nothing to do with MOG. It's about being an ambassador, an envoy of his presence. Now you know that you are not ordinary. 
It's not just the issue of confessing it. It is the truth. It is your present reality. No matter how weak you think you are. Our job here is to make you become strong. The Bible says ordinary men came to the cave of Adulam. And David made mighty men out of them. Hallelujah. You are not ordinary. There is an anointing upon you. There is an unction. Walk conscious of it. It should not create pride and arrogance. You are like a dove. But where you see the devil, you switch. And you become a roaring lion. And part of the blessings of the apostolic ministry and the prophetic ministry is access to the mysteries of a dispensation. Ephesians chapter 3, please. Give us chapter, verse 1 to 3. Ephesians chapter 3. This is an apostolic ministry. This is a prophetic ministry. You must understand the spiritual implication. This is what Paul is saying. Listen. He says, for this cause... Do you know that the mysteries of the kingdom have not, um, it's not yet, it's not exhausted. The revelation, what we know in church today is not all there is. God is still opening more doors. And it takes the apostolic ministry to be able to receive and communicate these dispensational secrets. Current mysteries. 3 verse 1. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Verse 2. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word. Verse 3. Read please. 1 to read. How that by revelation he made known unto me what? The mystery. He made known unto me. He showed me by revelation. As I wrote afore in few words. Verse 4. Whereby, listen. When ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Next verse. Shocking. Listen. Which in other ages ah, yeah, 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 was not made known to the sons of men. Stop. Listen. There are mysteries that have been uncovered in, in today's world. That have not yet been. People did not access it before. Not that it was not there. But that mystery was not meant for that dispensation. And the Bible says. Which in other ages. Was not made known unto the sons of men. As it is now revealed unto who? His holy apostles. And prophets. By the spirit. It didn't say revealed to believers. Please listen. This is not human worship. It didn't say reveal to believers. The current present truth. The operation of the Holy Spirit. Administratively is communicated in the body. By the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic. So there are mysteries. That God is helping us. One of the things I pray that will come upon us tonight is a mantle of revelation. Not just miracles, but that you hold on to something. The moment you enter your office, you know what to do to silence wicked men. The moment you step in, you know what to do to move to the next dimension. The Bible says for Jesus himself knew what to do. Scripture says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Can we pray in one minute and say, Lord, there is something I need to know to rise to the next level. Please show me. Pray. There is something I need to know. My God, I pray that you show me. Why does everybody hate me? Could it be that there is a mystery that I need to know? The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. Please pray. Lord, why am I just failing, failing in class? What is the mystery 
that will end my captivity why an endless circle of poverty there is a key hand it to me tonight oh god please hand it to me why do i just fall sick what is my church not growing what is my heart is dividing there is a mystery i humble myself tonight why is the anointing scarce in my life why have i not access influence in the spirit show me the mystery are you praying open my eyes This is my year of multiplied grace and influence. It's my year. I place a demand. It's a right because of truth. Right properly. Just said up in the depth of my youth. When the secrets of the Lord, there are secrets. Hear me, Koinona. We do business in this kingdom with secrets. There are secrets. We remain on the strength of mysteries. Pray is part of the meeting. You're opening up your spirit. Lord, I'm tired of cycles of failure. What's my family? There is a mystery really bring deliverance hallelujah listen the bible says they are alive to those who find them and only those who seek find they are light to those who find them and health to their flesh Number three. The third thing the Lord asked me to share with us tonight. Very powerful. Is found in John chapter 5. Please give us John chapter 5. We'll read verse 1 to 9. The Lord wants to reveal a dimension of himself tonight as the helper listen listen the bible calls god a beniza you know what that means the helper of men when god comes in to help you in life you must succeed after this there was a feast of the jews and jesus went up to jerusalem we're reading down to verse 9 now there is at jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, Bethesda, having five porches. Right? Verse 3. In this lay a great multitude of, look at the kind of people there. Successful people don't have any business with that environment. It's an environment that connoted weakness. It says, impotent folk of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water please pay attention for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water and then whosoever excuse me whosoever then um first then first after troubling the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had can you imagine that kind of frustration one person per year just like Nigeria says you should wait until somebody retires or dies. Then they say there's vacancy. You now come. One person per year was a horrifying situation. Then the Bible says there was a certain man. No name. There was a certain man. Which had an infirmity for how long? 38 years. 
after 38 years anything you cannot do is a concern do you agree with me after 38 years anything you cannot do is a concern at 38 years no child is a concern at 38 years you cannot at least move into your house is a concern at 38 years there's nothing meaningful you are doing is a concern the bible says this man had been there 38 years when jesus saw him lie now listen god is about to speak to you and knew that he had been there for how long for a the first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time he knows and then the bible says he said unto him will thou be made whole verse 7 this is what many of us are saying tonight the impotent man answered sir i have no man i have no helper i would have gotten the job but i have no helper i would have stepped into another level in ministry but i have no helper he says i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool and tonight god wants to be a helper he walked to him and the man said i have no helper but he said i will help you you don't need the pool rise up he can use another route the formula had always been fall inside the water but he said let's ignore the water i am here rise up the formula has been be blessed after 20 years but god is saying i can follow another route with you such that in one year i can do something in your life that will surprise you he said i have no man and the lord said reveal to my people i will manifest as a helper when god helps a man you will be surprised the bible says uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped marvelously helped part of the ministries of the holy spirit is as a helper he comes in to help you that's what grace is all about that where your effort stops and you say lord if it's based on my qualification oh i read whatever it is and god says i am here i can take you to another level oh god i'm here i've been barren they said i don't even have a womb and he says i am here to help you who is god speaking to tonight you really need help only an arrogant person will deny the need for help i have been helped by people in my life and i saw how easy my life became when they helped me are we together now? watch this benga come i'm trying to lift this and my hand is i can't lift it and then a helper comes and sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything and it makes my life easy the help of god can make a man's life easy please let me preach to you for one minute i have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and i must say it disabuse your mind from this satanic proposal coming from the media that nigeria is in trouble economy everybody shouting dollar i like you to shout it count me out say it shout it one more time listen we are not irresponsible citizens don't get me wrong we sympathize with what is happening in the nation but if you dare let satan speak to you he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life people who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility everybody says dollar is rising Is it not in your Bible when men say? Are we together now? He says, You will say there is a lifting up. This is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble. The Bible says, In the days of Joseph, it said money failed. 
money failed but there was a secret that was revealed to joseph there is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life listen god is looking for every opportunity to make a statement afford him your life a christian is not one who has just received jesus into his life a christian listen is one who operates by the principles of the word of god our economy is different and by economy i don't just mean finances your health whatever there's lassa fever there's what again huh there's zika virus there's which one again they are, they are there is the one you know you are mentioning what of the ones that are arrows that fly by day have they told you on tv the bible listen listen psalm 90 don't turn there our time is gone psalm 91 said thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence right there are diseases you breathe them all around. It takes a superior revelation to keep you. I reject everything whose price has been paid on the cross. I will not pay another price again. Are we together? You must understand the implication of your oneness with Christ. So he wants to be your helper can you hand over your life and say god help me truly i've tried by myself if you don't help me i will never get this admission if you don't help me i will never graduate if you don't help me my certificate will remain a piece of paper i will keep mocking myself with my accolades listen if no one has told you let me tell you again our world is a cruel and a wicked world you don't have to do anything you don't have to trouble anyone you just need to be alive that's a condition to be a potential victim when the lord told me this i said lord i first i receive for myself i receive for myself he is my helper when god comes in to help you he can round off what has taken you 10 years 10 years of captivity let me tell you something it doesn't take time when jesus is there it doesn't take time you'll be watching the growth this is how it will live and you're saying where is it it's gone who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne Mountains fall and the ocean rolls to the Lord of Do you know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that, that CEO. I met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion. Lord, I trust you through my job. God says he will bless you and you say, I know my salary is on his way coming. Lord, I trust you and you say, I know I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon. He's coming in next week from India. And God is just arranging it such that it's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean rolls to the Lord our Lord. Praise Adonai From the rising of the sun 
to the end of every day. Praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the elders and the saints, sing praise. I believe God, though. I'm a man of faith. I believe God. He says, I know whom I have believed. I've seen God help people even in this place. In this place. Brothers and sisters, there is a mystery of lifting. God can take a man. You see somebody today and God can lift that person. He, he, they looked at someone and said, Where did, we can't see the process. Where did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he's already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him there is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people let me tell you this night before we pray just take away your mind from anything and everybody don't come to God with your calculation and say Lord my prayer request I wrote my uncle he must answer me leave that one let God choose if God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough let him give it to you You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen. Don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay, God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says, He spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust judge. He didn't fear anybody, not God, nor man. And there was this poor widow who said, avenge me my adversary. And for a long time, the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight. Are we together? God has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper. Bless you, my dear. As a helper. As a helper. This ministry has been helped by the Lord. Greatly helped by the Lord. I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of God know. That this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna after a meeting just to have lunch briefly and then rush back. And I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too. And she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes ma. And then she greeted me. And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said two years ago she came for counseling as wretched it was like she had come to the end of her life i share this to encourage you hallelujah and um she said everything was scattering she was a single mom with a child supposedly no hope for marriage nothing was working they were about to throw her out on her job and I prophesied to her and I said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department. She should not be afraid. And she said, man of God, that's exactly what happened. And she looked at me. And she said, can you imagine what has happened in my life? She 
just put her hand like this and I saw a ring and she said I just got married two months ago and then she said I should look outside and there was a clean E class she said who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this my life has changed brothers and sisters if you will believe God can change your life if you will argue he will not argue with you he will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons please I want you to be angry today as we pray and place a demand on the throne of heaven and say Lord you must answer me whenever I call you you will answer me Elijah called on you and you answered him Moses called on you and you answered him that's why I know wherever I call you you will answer me seated here inside and outside in all of the overflows there are people with medical reports that if God does not visit them this night they are dying for sure I bring you a message of hope the helper is in the house there are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because the the situation is so scattered it doesn't have beginning and end they don't even know where the problem started from they know that they are in the middle of a situation but the helper when he comes he can make every crooked path straight there are people here trusting God for children. There are people here trusting God for a turnaround, breakthrough. Do you believe that God is stepping in? The worship team sang so beautiful and they challenged us. Do you believe that God is able to step in? We are going to pray right now. You are not praying for your neighbor. You are not praying on your request. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Lord, please, don't let me go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, please pray. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 One more prayer point. The power of God is so strong in this place. I'd like you to say, Lord, visit the foundation of my problem and set me free. Please, lift your voice and pray. What you think may be the problem may not really be the problem. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to 
voices. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle worker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting. One more time, Lord, we will praise you from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out. By the authority of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ and god is removing something from your stomach too i'm seeing something leaving your stomach like a growth i command it to go now right now right now i will praise him from everlasting everlasting hallelujah everlasting madam check yourself Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you. Huh? Yes, sir. There's a movement. There's a movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are, you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes, sir. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please, let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row, at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person, please? Come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown. Brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Eh? because I'm seeing another woman your mother is here the Lord is saying I should speak to her light is living from you outside there is a woman outside she's your mother where is she is she here or at, not outside at, at the is he at the edge of the wall or outside some who is that please is she here come mama God is wiping the tears of your family tonight everlasting to everlasting lord we will praise you from everlasting everlasting to everlasting we will praise you from everlasting everlasting to everlasting we will praise you from everlasting everlasting to everlasting we will praise you from everlasting 
Now you're welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you. If they tell you their stories, your own story will look like child's play. Because this woman has suffered. Mama, you are a good woman, but listen, listen. Where, where are you? Are you in Zaria here? In Zaria. What do you do? I need to pray. Because I'm, I'm seeing this is a cause. I'm a widow. I know. I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They caught. He murdered. They caught. This boy murdered. They caught. I go yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say on the day. We come back again. Eh? What caught? He get problem. He murdered. They caught. If I don't pray for this boy as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody? Like, don't, don't be afraid, mama, because this thing will even cause you problem. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a cause. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Yeah because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head you are carrying it alone I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God is wiping your tears I'm seeing a mother outside the Lord is showing me a mother outside a woman outside uh, it's like you are wearing her tie but it's not like a tie, same material. A tie like a normal, this thing. It's, a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window. Please, I need to speak to her. If there is somebody like that, let's have a mother outside. The Lord is showing me. Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus for God to change your story. I don't know what is in the court, but in the name of Jesus, we will change it. How old are you? You are 14. You will serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? I'm from Edo. You are from where? Edo. From Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me. Because the same thing he's delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit. Father, I lay my hands on our mommy. The back pain, look at me, mama. The back pain, you it did, it did, it did. will be healed now. Amen. Hold my hand. Amen. Look at what is happening to her. Mama, shout Jesus loud. Father, hold my hands for your glory. Mama, look at me. Look at me. You see something like fire moving at your back right now. That pain is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Look at. Look at you. Help her. Cover her. It will never return to you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, my friend. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing two heads. This is a misidentity. The devil wants to misrepresent you, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Your passion for God. Have good friends. If your friends are not good, leave them this night. May God give you good friends. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you. That anointing comes upon you, takes you to a new dimension. This is the woman, Mama, you are welcome. Let's celebrate Jesus. I'll pray for you, but there is another woman I'm talking about. There is another Mama outside. 
who needs to come mama i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus you have a daughter yes where is she she's outside she's outside call her come daughter where are you please come Shim. what's her name Shim. Shim. please you had your name rush and come in our time is gone who is this that I'm the one no the woman I'm talking about has her tie um, it's not the same as the material it's not the same as the material she's wearing I'm looking for a hair tie that looks close to it ladies now the normal scarf that you carry and tie but I will pray for you anybody that has come out I'll pray for you I don't know why she's here she is, but I'll pray for you you are already out. I'll pray for you. Please, let's, let me just minister to those that are here. I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Please, you can return back to your seat. Let me talk to you. Your daughter? Um, Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me, my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother, this is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? She is oh, my I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. This is your grandmother, but she's like your mother now. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears and the lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life believe me who is this your what yeah, but she have um son and daughter you have a daughter she have a daughter but she's my elder sister she's your elder sister yes sir Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? In ABU here. ABU here. I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to Mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Mama. Come, come, two of you. You love Jesus? Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus? No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. But Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's mad. Yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out! You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. 
This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen, you are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking, uh, what's that thing, that cough syrup? Huh? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We are not, we are not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We are not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm, I'm back in, in Sokoto. Huh? I'm staying with my elbow daughter in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm back in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. Yeah. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You are a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing. Now, what took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam on Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you're already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, call me. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Huh? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Sir. Regina, Regina. I hear a name Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name, Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a saloonist. You are a saloonist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this. And your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus, I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you, what do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God.
mind is who is supposed to. They've started your marriage planning. Please come, my sister. I, I don't mean to embarrass you. You get what I'm saying? Is to speak over your life. You two, what category are you here for? Huh? Regina, okay, I'll pray for you. Who has sickle cell? There's a sickler here now. You are the one. Please indicate, eh, sweetheart. Come. Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place. Change her genotype right now. In the name of Jesus. From SS to AA. Do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pr please. Um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please be serious, eh? And pray because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media and listen to the messages. They will help you. You love Jesus, but your mindset is still very serious. And you can do anything, especially men. So please, you will listen to that message and the Lord will help you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, come. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask you. Please don't feel embarrassed. Huh? When do you want to settle down? It was supposed to be December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? You called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you, if you don't have the eyes of the spirit, you will be fighting God not knowing. Are we together now? I'm sorry to say, don't feel bad, don't feel embarrassed. You see that guy? It was three of you. You are not the only one. You have been sensing that there's another lady. The other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you. That's why he quietly called out of fear and all of that. That he's, he may be a sincere person, but him and women, he's even a spirit, he needs help. Let me pray for you, that God will bring the man he has destined. You're a very nice lady. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon her. Father, send him to her life, the man, a, a responsible and God-fearing man. In the name of Jesus Christ, and for your shame, may my God give you double. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let me just talk to two people and then we'll... Madam, please come. That woman, can I talk to you? Please clear the way for her. Madam, please come. Please, let's pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray in the spirit. Say, Father, visit me. Madam, please look at me. I have to pray for you. Something is tying your finances down completely. Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, you were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, sir. Because everybody will see you now and think things are just working, but the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, but now I'm out of Hold on. Place. Don't worry. You don't, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months, they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage. It's true, sir. Because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your yes, husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The yes, Lord is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. You are? Hairdresser. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. 
no 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 don't feel bad madam please look at me tithing is not a gimmick by men of god believe me you understand what i'm saying is the access point the devil is using where is your husband the man now it's at home now I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. See, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome. Yes, sir. We soon need doctor. Ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know I don't know what causes it, but I know how it do please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast this. Um, it's a congenital disorder. And the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all but I know. <laughs> most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We are going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah god do a miracle in the name of jesus hold him am i holding him right jesus christ father by the blood of jesus do a miracle in this child we change this situation in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be a miracle in jesus name i'm seeing one more child though who is that Let's go. please hold the child you are the one who needs the healing first just hold the child i hope the child will not cry i have to pray for you huh something is really fighting you Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree. That is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ those dreams those oppressions i come against them in jesus name let's pray for the baby what's wrong with the baby she has been coughing and stooling coughing and stooling baby how are you in the name of jesus christ we speak to you no more coughing in the name of jesus christ perfection in your body i release the power of the holy spirit upon you right now in the name of jesus 
the power flows through this baby in Jesus name I hope the usher will help out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her in the name of Jesus Christ baby we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ look at me where is the man in your life? Okay. I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I'm seeing something that is serious but I'll talk, I'll talk about it okay the Lord is showing me something that is quite serious thank you Jesus hallelujah please lift your hands There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now, inside and outside. I'm going to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, as I begin to pray, it's like fire. It will come upon you. Confusion, stagnation at least 13 people i see in the spirit please lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands i'll do the praying let's just flow the way the holy spirit is praying. lord jesus i'm praying right now by the ministry of angels 13 people by the influence of the spirit i stand under this apostolic anointing and i pray right now wherever you are inside and outside right now as i pray that fire starts coming upon them right now right now bring them out 13 people 13 people by the power of the holy spirit i end it right now there are still people outside inside 13 people by the anointing of the holy spirit bring them out please right to the back right to the back right to the back right to the back i'm seeing fire it's like a spirit that would jump out of you right to the back inside outside i command that confusion outside the anointing of the holy ghost is resting on people confusion all the overflows in the name of jesus confusion must come to an end right now delay lift your hands i tell you there will be a mighty baptism outside outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus when you shout it i see altars on fire are you ready now outside one two three bring them bring them fire is falling outside the bible says why men slept hear me there are things that tie the destinies of men jesus already paid the price that's why we are doing what we are doing the authority is that of jesus christ bring them in now listen listen my goodness you're going to lift your hands for your family i see the angels of the lord bringing deliverance for families listen at the count of three i tell you wherever you are i like you to shout jesus with all your heart some of you you are representing an altar of god for your family and the moment you do that in the name of jesus there will be a miracle one father for families let the soul of the spirit go from the north to the south east and the west of every family right now at the count of three one two three Jesus! families families families
is the sword of judgment. Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. In the name of Hallelujah. 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 Now those outside, listen. I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me? There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain. I'm going to, listen. I'm going to begin to walk around. My goodness, I see angels by my left and right. As I begin to move across this place, the fire of God will start falling. Right now, I stand under this apostolic office and I declare my hands. Right now, right now, right now. I command that right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire. 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 Every spirit. Every devil from my left, my right, outside, outside, my left, my right, every devil right now. I stretch my hands. Every spirit. Go, 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 go. I command every spirit right now. Release them. Release them right now. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying. I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go, go out. Out right now. My left and my right. I release my spirit. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Those spirits. I command them to leave. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. Out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command right now, right now. I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus. It must release you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Those of you outside, don't think you are missing anything at all. That's why I came out. I'm going to all the overflows. Those of us here, you may be outside. But let me tell you something. God will step into your destiny. Please lift your hands. Because I'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end. I'm seeing chains. Lift your hands. I want you to shout Jesus just once at the count of three. And everybody under that influence must go right now please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them father i chains of bondage but you organize this meeting to recover destinies therefore at the count of three it will come like fire on some of you one two three right now right now right now right now right now right now i cast that spirit I cost that spirit. I cost that spirit. 
let that go right now in the name of Jesus 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 the Lord is giving you a new song a new song the Lord is wiping your tears you on green lift your hands take it now receive right now by the power of the Holy Ghost Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you he's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying what you could not do in five years. You, Mama, in five years, he's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, I have to pray there's delay in your life the lord wants me to break the spirit of delay i hope you are not embarrassed sir no. hold my hand sir something will happen to you remarkably right now take it that devil of delay out of his life right now out out i don't know who this man is but he's stepping into a new level god is wiping the spirit of delay in the name of jesus i'm seeing in the spirit the name a boy a boy state someone here from a boy state god is bringing a miracle at my back that person is at my back a boy state god is bringing a miracle wherever that person is in the name of the lord jesus christ who is margaret margaret i'm hearing the name margaret you are in this place oh no 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 there's a lady here margaret i'm seeing the lord is shining who is that come margaret you are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me. Five ladies. None is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. What happened to you? You were shot. I'm a military personnel. Oh, you're a military personnel. Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. The but then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel. No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right it's now. A spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies, please. I have to talk five ladies none of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married God needs to do a miracle please make sure that we confirm the situation five ladies so that we don't say yes. we are faking it please make sure yes yes five ladies where yes, are you from yes I'm from Edo State you are from Edo State yes yes you too five you two you are together oh you are his sister you are his friend so why are you here with him to back him up oh five minutes yes okay okay i'm going to pray for you right now hallelujah in the name of jesus i command that spirit there is a spirit that brings delay in your family and I take authority over that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ right now there's somebody around here you are into book selling bookstore business God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business here I'm sensing it I don't know if there's anybody here you are into selling of books the Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person oh Jordan is you father in the name of Jesus I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here.
call that lady call that lady you don't think distance is a barrier believe me god can fish you out from anywhere look at me i know you are standing by the fence but god is wiping your tears he's giving you a new song right now in the name of jesus i release that anointing upon you right now in the name of jesus christ god has answered your prayer you are praying that i minister to you you and your friend where is your friend where is he lift up your hands two of you you will step into an anointing uh, hold your hands together in the name of jesus look i stretch my hands right now let a fire come upon both of you right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ you step into a strange dimension let me talk to the people here i want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting it doesn't matter where you are god can visit you no don't worry just just leave the person grace i hear a name grace 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 there's someone with the name grace is there someone like that grace grace i need to pray for grace 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 and i'm hearing garba garba i'm hearing a name garba god is ministering to somebody i don't know if it's a son name or a name garba in the name of jesus garba where are you your name is garba your son name is garba where is your dad he's outside he's in saudi arabia he's, a, he's, he's in saudi arabia because i'm seeing god is saying look at me god is saying i should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family okay. and so, are you hearing what i'm saying yes you have to be very serious with me. you are going to be very wealthy you are going into oil and gas Amen. are you hearing me? i don't know you i don't know anything about you but i'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas and god is going to honor you god will bring a man into your life Bless you. i'm seeing three people here you are writing jump next week jump no no not everybody hold on hold on just relax i'm going to pray for everybody here where i'm standing you are right jump. three people you're right in jump somebody is writing it for the fourth time that person you are the one this will be the last time do you know me come, come and stand what, please remind me in case I forget this jam thing. We have to settle it once and for all. Please, people are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me. Please lift your hands. Not these ones. Those ones exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right? God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes. Inside is just a fraction of those outside. And I want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that God is able to visit you and to minister to you. Hallelujah. Those outside, here, there are at least two of you. Fire is coming upon you right now. I see the power of darkness being broken. Lord, where are they? Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand upon this anointing. Wherever they are, Father, there is a lady right now. It's like fire is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That fire is coming upon you. All of you standing here, I prophesy to you. In the name that is above all names. Hear me. Whatever has tied your progress. I'm talking to those here. I stand under this anointing. And I declare a change of story right now. Benway State. There's someone here from Benway. Benway. Um, Benway State. You have an elder brother. Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing. Please. You have an elder brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation and the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please listen listen please believe what I'm saying don't come and waste your time God brought you here to wipe your tears any family here you have tried and tried and tried doors have refused to open I open it for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I see somebody here you are looking for a job June um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June I see a job coming this is what God is saying I don't know who I'm speaking but God is many somebody your name is Grace where is your mother Kogi State I need to pray for you because there's witchcraft. I take authority over that spirit of Jesus I need to pray for somebody, two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Uh, what's the name of that? It's not just stab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll... I'll pray for you. And brother here, listen. listen. God is speaking to you. You came for koinonia, but you left a lady in your room. You left a lady in your room. You told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back. Please, don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble. God is saving you. Send her a text now to go home. You are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen in some at least three ladies. Severe menstrual pain. This is not this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region right now the fire of god is going to come on some ladies i take authority over that spirit right now in the name of jesus christ right now right now i cause that spirit in the name of jesus christ a lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now it will come upon you like fire i take authority over it right now in the name of jesus christ and there is a lady that the Lord is showing me. For four months, you have not seen your period. Four months, you have not seen your period. I think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see someone's family um, like relative in prison. There's somebody here like that in prison. One of your relatives. I don't know if he's in a police station or prison, something like that. God is doing a miracle. Who is that? There's somebody like that. You're the one come. Who is in prison? Your nephew. Are you sure? Which prison? He's in Gobe State. How long is his tenure? Five years. Five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five days. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Oh yes. Lift your hands for him. God. And let the name of Jesus step in and give him the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You, this. Are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You, lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family's experience is for a restoration. You. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph. 
You are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are in the crowd. I will pray for you, but the Joseph is inside the crowd. Who is that? Come out. Your name is Joseph. I will pray for you. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Something will come on you. You are still there. You are in Papa. God is white. Name of Jesus Christ, a new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? So you are done with German. What do you want to study? Agri. You are going to be a businessman, and God is going to honor you. In the name of Jesus, Joseph John. Where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There's an anointing for you. Go back, and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord would lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody. Who is supposedly nothing? Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. I will praise you. Not you or your sister. And I will praise you. Your sister is barren. How many years? Six years. You follow me. How many years? I will Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam, look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problems. No, no, no. Not eye. I'm going to for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? I'm going to bring status is changing. No more you get discouraged easily. God is saying that you should be sure not be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No more Let's go. I'm on my way to better Those things, please follow me. Status is changing. The Lord is bringing you to a new dimension. I'm on my way to I'm on my way. On my way. I'm on my way to I'm on my way. On my way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's... Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister. Yes. Where is she? She's in Zaria. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please. Don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues.
believe me when I tell you there will be testimonies if you are standing here for yourself just move this way if you are standing for yourself move this way please so that I know please just move here I will worship him forever love him forever because this is God is to do please this way just let there be a separation my, my brothers and sisters please see how many people the devil is tying down the Lord is bringing you into an anointing it's a healing anointing that is coming on you I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head you you looking at me something is being activated in your spirit man step into that oil that fountain is that healing anointing Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands. You, out, right now, right now. It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. I see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children. For your loved ones. Miracle children. They take in right now and nine months after now they give birth to their children in the name of Jesus hallelujah please go back to your seat God bless you God bless you those who are standing here I'm going to pray for you please make sure you are married if you are not married please don't embarrass yourself go back to your seat praise the Lord let me pray for those who are standing for themselves we have to pray that's why you came hallelujah Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? Eight solid years. And God gave her triplets. They are still alive till today. Triplets. Triplets. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are standing husband and wife, no problem. You are standing for your wife, no problem. Just make sure you are married. That's the only thing we are saying. Please. I'm going to pray for you. Stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the problem is. Jesus is stepping in. My confidence. The source of my strength. Are you. The strength of my life. Are you. My hope and my joy. Are you. Hey, my confidence. Are you. Looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me. Your, Your mercy is everlasting. 
I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength, the strength of my life. My open, my joy, yeah, my confidence, the source of my strength, the strength of my life, my open, my joy, my confidence, yeah, I exalt you. I release this miracle. Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wipes your tears. Right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hands? Hold on. I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle. A miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast we'll pray for this just for one minute and then I'll begin to prophesy there are people who have not yet received what they came for here please just be patient with us please this is a miracle service right so that we can justify our coming please let's rise we'll just do this in one minute I'd like you to believe stretch your hands here right now stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray prophesy over it your request is here Lord we turn it into a testimony please make sure those outside their requests are here too if they are here to collect your request just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you are you praying prophesy father this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Let there be miracles, O oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, O oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, miracles upon miracles, miracles, visit everyone, visit issues of concern in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received we have to pray in the name of Jesus please I want you to believe God and lift your hands lift your hands hallelujah the Lord is starting off with direction there are people here who came praying Lord what is the next step of my destiny wherever you are I'm prophesying to you as I speak fire will come upon you just on your head some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Supernatural direction. Help that guy. In the name of Jesus. Every confusion in your life. Those outside, make sure you participate. Someone is asking, oh God. What is the next step? I pray by this anointing, receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. In the name of Jesus. Someone's marital destiny is under siege. Right now, in the name that is above all names. An anointing, a yoke breaker anointing. I prophesy, receive it right now. I open those doors right now. Inside, outside. I open those doors right now. Hallelujah. There's someone praying. You are asking God for money for rent. Rent. The Lord is telling me that between now and Monday morning, there is a miracle coming for you. There is a miracle coming for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are ladies who have, even guys, this spell of disfavor. Please listen. In the name of Jesus, you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face. I see many people being affected by this. Lord, where are they? That mark of disfavor by this anointing right now right now i break that mark right now inside outside in the name of jesus i tear of that mark kaparataka latoshia that mark of disfavor that embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work i come against it in the name of jesus hallelujah Listen, you have come to the end of your road. And if God does not step in, there will not be any way out. I pray for you. That door closed over your destiny that will not allow you to move to the next level. I stand under this anointing in this miracle service and I prophesy. I command that door to open right now. Oh, come on. Believe it. Believe it. I command that door to open. Shakatata. Deke poroso bariata. I command that door to open. Swing open. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has been earmarked from heaven to enter your hand. And is yet to enter your hand. Please stretch your hands towards me. Shalakataya. In the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands back. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Everything.
that must enter your hand inside and outside i command it from the realm of the spirit i deliver it to your hands in the name of jesus hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow i command your family grow i command your finances grow i command your ministry grow hallelujah i pray for you you hear me pray this all the time because i've seen what it can do in the life of a man where are your destiny helpers if there is one prayer you must receive in this place listen god can use men to help a man and in one day god can bring the right people to wipe your tears lift your hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help as you lift your hands let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call help us right now right now right now i release that anointing upon you for help for help for help for help take it receive it the anointing Listen, all you need in your life, one person can just tell you do A, B, C. Or I know A who can do B for you. And it can open you up to a whole new world. One more time I pray. I call them from the north, the south. If they are in Zaria here, we call them. If they are in Kaduna State, we call them. Any part of Nigeria receive their ministry now receive their ministry now whoever has vowed to destroy your life i'm praying oh this is judgment in the name that is above all names if there is any human entity standing i declare let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment listen when pharaoh refused to allow egypt israel go god took his firstborn whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go we take it tonight in the name of jesus hear me let me tell you the truth there are men that hold the destinies of people low i teach you principles of success but i'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill whoever kept your destiny at a standstill in the name that is above all names i put an anointing upon you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of jesus go forward I prophesy in your career go forward in every area of your life Hallelujah. let me speak over our finances you see what is happening around the nation father we believe in the power to prosper and we believe in favor ah there is such a thing my brother and my sister called favor lift your hands my god and my king that anointing for favor that was on joseph that anointing that made five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people wherever you are may that anointing come on your life right now 
is coming on people may that anointing come upon you it comes upon you right now hallelujah some of us are moving but our pace is too slow that's the truth we need acceleration we are moving but your pace is too slow there are things you should do in two weeks not three years there are things you should do in one day i'm praying for you the bible says and the hand of god came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jezreel the anointing that must come upon you that between now and next month miracle service what has not happened from when koinonia started may the god that i serve release it into your life i command speed 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 i prophesy it speed hallelujah all those writing jam lift your hands it's time for you to move forward if you are not writing you can stand in for somebody maybe your loved ones or whatever in the name of jesus the bible says and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom hear me daniel was found 10 times better that 10 times better unction as you write your jam may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of jesus there are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do you will know what to do in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm led to pray for those in final year i don't know why but the holy spirit is speaking to me we need to release you there are things that have come up some of us physically speaking is obvious there is trouble where is that god who can correct a man's mistake i pray for you in the name that is above all names you will graduate this year i said you will graduate this year i don't know how it will happen but you must graduate this year hallelujah the secret receive this two more and we are done the secret the ideas the strategy you need for the next level of your life i'm praying for you please lift your hands there will be a strong impartation god is releasing anointings for creativity some of it will come upon you you will not know why but when you sleep you will see it in dreams my god i'm praying i see this thing falling on at least 40 people in the name that is above all names that anointing for creativity receive it right now right now right now right now an impartation an impartation an impartation an impartation inside outside inside outside take it take it take it creativity ideas i send them from the spirit concept right now right now business ideas career ideas hallelujah now i'm going to pray the last prayer breakthrough you don't know what breakthrough is some of you let me tell you what breakthrough is breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted destroyed if it's lifted it can appear in your future please listen some of us what you need is breakthrough you don't even know the name of the situation you are in but i pray at the count of three i want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can and something remarkable will happen i'm seeing rain falling that's what i'm saying father this is the instruction you gave me as we shout hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband husband somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough somebody's husband husband at the count of three one 
two, three. Yes, Lord, receive it, receive it, receive it. Malakata Baba. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. I smash those barriers. Breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Breakthrough. I mark you with an anointing that anywhere they see you, they will be compelled to bless you. Listen to what I'm saying. I mark you with an unction. I mark you with a mystery. And I command that anywhere they see you, may they bless you. Anywhere you enter, may this anointing force men to bless you. Anywhere you travel to, may this anointing distinguish you. Isaac blessed his son and said, the smell of my son is like the field. Brothers and sisters, hear me. There is a fragrance that can come upon a man that will force men to bless you anyhow. I don't know who must appear to bless you, but I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, I mark you with a mystery that forces men to bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting. 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 Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you